Hey, what's up everybody? For today's video, I wanna talk about photo editing software and my recommendations to help you choose a program that'll work for you. Now the programs I'm gonna be talking about are Lightroom, Photoshop, Affinity, and Luminar because there's a lot of similarities between these programs which benefit certain skill levels differently. So I'm gonna go over some of their pros and cons so I can explain to you which I think is the best option for you to pick. First, let's talk about the price. You could get Photoshop and Lightroom for 10 bucks a month but it is a subscription, so you'll be paying that for however long you have the program. Most photographers that are professionals and are making money from the photography don't mind paying that since they're getting the industry leader in photography editing software. This monthly subscription is also getting you updates for Photoshop and Lightroom as they improve and innovate their software. Lightroom is relatively easy to learn and it's great for basic photo editing and cataloging while Photoshop is a lot more vital for complex shots which require masking, stacking, or using other tools that are not available in Lightroom. Photoshop will take longer to learn than Lightroom and can be intimidating at first. For those that don't want to break the bank but still get the same great powerful tools as Photoshop, then Affinity is a great alternative. It has a one-time fee of $50 and can be used by professionals or non-professionals. There are a couple drawbacks though. It tends to be slower compared to Photoshop, and it'll take a while to learn if you're not too computer savvy. This is great though for beginners and intermediate photographers that aren't making money with their images, but still want to create images like the pros do with Photoshop. Affinity at the moment does not offer a photo catalog solution, but I believe they're in the process of developing one. If you really need one, then you'll have to look elsewhere until that day comes. Lastly, I want to talk about Luminar 2018 since I finally had a chance to test it out further last weekend. Luminar has simplified the photo editing experience and has made it pretty easy for beginners to create beautiful photos. Luminar is a one-time fee of $60 and has some unique tools that Photoshop and Affinity don't have like the Intelligent Sunray filter and some other filters which I'll do future videos on. However, Affinity and Photoshop also have some things that Luminar doesn't like uh, overlaying text, stacking multiple photos to reduce noise, and those programs have superior masking options. Luminar can mask photos, but I find that Photoshop masking options are much more advanced for professional work. Luminar is going to release a catalog system which current Luminar users will get for free in an update very soon, so to me it really seems like they're trying to make a simplified and cheaper version of Lightroom slash Photoshop combo program which is geared towards beginners and intermediate photographers. So what's my final verdict? Well, if I was a non-professional just taking basic photos and wanted a quick editing solution, I would choose Luminar. If I was planning on taking more complex photos and trying to eventually sell my work, I would use Affinity and Luminar to cover my editing needs. These two programs alone are cheaper than a one-year subscription of Lightroom and Photoshop. However, for aspiring professionals and current professionals, I would stick with Lightroom and Photoshop while constantly adding new software plugins. I'm really enjoying some of the filters Luminar has to offer and they make it really easy to add Luminar as a plugin to Lightroom and Photoshop as you see here. I also know there's some other great alternative photography editing solutions out there, so please feel free to share yours in the comments below and let's help beginner photographers pick and choose the best option that will work for them. Thanks again for watching guys, talk to you later, bye.